Hello, and welcome back to Harriet's Custom Computer Art Plus. If this is your first time, welcome, and thank you for coming to my channel. I had intended to be uploading the uh, tutorial on step-by-step -step how to assemble the baseball cap box as well as the wearable cap, and I recorded it, and there were some problems with it. The whole tutorial video is a mess, so I'm going to have to redo that. But since I already had the Unique Reveal Invitation tutorial ready to go, I decided I would go ahead and upload this one, and I will be redoing the, the baseball cap box assembly and wearable uh, baseball cap at a later date. Also, um, if you bought your SVG from SVG Cuts, um, they do have a tutorial on their YouTube page on how to assemble the baseball cap box. It's part of a group called Sports. So if you don't want to wait for me to get my uh, tutorial re-recorded re and post it to my YouTube channel, uh, go and take a look at that one. I'm doing it pretty much the exact same way. Um, so sorry about that but it will be coming I hope you enjoy this tutorial on unique reveal invitations thank you hello and welcome back to Harriet's custom computer art plus today I'm going to be showing you how to make quick invitations that will look like they took you a bit of time um, and this the techniques I'm going to be showing you you can do this with any theme I mean any theme so I'm going to show you um, a couple of examples today I have an order for an Alice in Wonderland party and I thought it would be cute to make this into an invitation so I found this just by googling Alice in Wonderland high-res Alice in Wonderland clip art and I saw this and I liked it and I said yeah I think I can turn that into a cute invitation so I'm going to show you how fast you can do this first I'm going to cut out in pictures cut out a picture by color selection and I'm just going to cut out all of the blue area hit next select opposite area done delete that bottom layer so you're not looking at that blue next I need to cut out the pieces that I'm going to make interactive so I'm going to cut off this uh, top of the teapot by going to um, cut out in picture, cut out of picture by tracing on my own. I'll zoom in a little bit and I'm going to just cut along this black line around at the top of my mouse, zoom out a little bit, come back around, go back and then I'm going to click that green flag it shows me what I'm cutting out if I need to make any corrections I just move close to the line it turns pink and then I can do any kind of adjustments I need and I'm gonna hit the flag again to say yeah that that's what I want right there and hit done I'm gonna move that to the side drop this down a bit now I need to cut out my mouse so I'm going to go to cut out a picture, cut out of picture by tracing on my own. And I'm just going to go to this area and start cutting. And now I'm just going to come down to the outside of his bow tie. And I'm going to take this entire area, just get the little oval that he's inside of. I'm not going to even worry about the whiskers anyway. So now I have my mouse outline. I'm going to hit the yellow flag, hit done, move my mouse out to the side last thing I need to do is cut out my teapot so I'm just going to go here to cut out in pictures once again cut out a picture by tracing on my own this time I'm going to trace the teapot here at the top now remember everything else is already cropped out so I just need to to take this edge of the teapot which is where the top will go and then I can just do a big loop come back to my flag it done and now I can delete the original teapot from here or I can 
go here to the bottom and just delete that. So now I have my pieces that I'll need. And because I want just this uh, yellow edge, I'm going to go in to cut out in picture, cut out of picture, and I'm going to go uh, with a cookie cutter shape this time. I'm going to choose a circle, flatten it out into an oval, and I'm just going to bring it up to just the base of this yellow lip or lid of the, uh, what holds the lid of the teapot, and I'm going to cut that out. I don't want any of that green, I just want the the black parts or the yellow parts. Come in a little on this side. I'm going to hit next and done. And all I'm going to do is flip that right around just like that. Bring it down here. I'm going to take it behind no, I'll leave it up for now because I'm just going to cut out an opening. I'll put it right there. I'm going to flatten it out a bit. And I want to fit it right on top of that teapot. Now I'm keep this black edge. So I'm just going to flatten this out until I have that edge included and also have a completed area for the top of my teapot so now I'm going to go to cut out in picture cut out of picture with a cookie cutter shape I'm already in the circle I'm going to shrink it and flatten it out and I'm just going to fit it right in this area where that the um, mouse's bow tie is Shrink it down on both sides a little bit. Gonna hit next. Select opposite area. Done. And now I'm going to remove that teapot from the bottom. Move that so I can delete this. So now I have my teapot cut out. Now, because I chose opposite area, it made copies of these two, and that's all right because you're going to need those. So just scoot down a little bit, and you're going to make another cutout in picture, cutout of picture with a cookie cutter shape. It doesn't matter which shape you use as long as you cut out the, both of these because your card is going to be double sided. So now I have two of these lids. And I'm only cutting these out because I want to reposition them where I want them. And now I'm going to cut out the mouse. Because I want all the pieces separate. Put him to the side. And last but not least, I want to cut out my, my teapot by itself. I'm going to move these out the way. Now I'm going to cut out my teapot so that it's not attached to those. So I'm going to go to cut out in picture, cut out of picture. The same thing we've been using the whole time. Um, and I'm going to go once again to with the cookie cutter shape. Just make it big enough where it will cover that whole teapot without catching anything else. Hit next and done. So now I have all my pieces separate and I can get rid of this one that has everything connected. I'm just going to right click and delete it. So I have my teapot, I have my mouse, I have a top. Now I need another teapot because this is a double sided card. So I'm just going to move that up for the moment and I'm going to once again cut another teapot. This is faster than copying and pasting because it instantly just makes you a copy without you having to wait on the processor of the uh, computer or this software to act. 
Now I'm going to group all of these and shrink them down so I can have everything on the same page. Now you see what I did? I went to the top corner and I'm grouping everything because whenever I resize, I'm going to resize everything on the page together so that when I'm putting it together, it will all fit perfectly. So I'm just going to shrink everything down so I can put everything on the page. I have my two coffee pot, my two teapots, my two mice. And I'm just separating them by sides. And the reason why I'm doing that is because I'm going to group this side and mirror it. So once again, I'm just dragging from the top until I have just these three pieces. I'm going to go here to size and position, flip, hit mirror. Instantly, I have mirrored copies of each one. Now, all, it, all that's left to do, I can stack these any way I want now. All that I need to do now, and you see everything is a carbon copy, or not a carbon, a mirrored copy of each other. So I'm just stacking those all over there. My mouse is always also mirrored. And now I just need to add a little circle here so that my mouse can attach to my teapot lid. So I'm going to go to cut out and picture this time I'm gonna add a colored shape I'm gonna make it a circle and I'm just gonna make it yellow so that it it uh, just blends in it's not gonna be seen but um, we'll just make it yellow just to keep with the same color scheme that we're going with and I'm just gonna put this shrink it down enough make it look like a little little uh, motorcycle helmet on the mouse drag it down I'm dragging it down two layers I want it to be underneath I'm gonna drag it down under both of the mice and I'm just gonna bring this across just like this just so I have a little dome to attach my lid to and you see that will fit within the lid And I'm actually going to shrink down my mouse a little bit so that it, it goes in and out of this space smoothly, but I can do that a little later. So now I have this circle. I'm just going to go ahead and copy and paste this one. The copy is right here next to the scissors. It's two sheets of paper on top of each other and then a clipboard. And I'm going to drag this one down, put it on this mouse. I'm going to drag that down on here on the right side until I'm under that mouse. And now I'm going to group both of them because I want to resize them. So I'm going to group this one together so that he keep this becomes one piece with his helmet. And I'm going to do the same for this one. Drag, drag until I have the mouse and his little football helmet. And now I'm going to shrink both of these down a little bit. You need to group them both at the same time. So just as far as you need to go out to group them both. And I'm going to move it over here so I can see. I'm making sure that those ears will go through because that's the biggest part of the mouse. So I'm just going to make sure that those ears can go through. And even though I can't see the other one, when I resize it, it's resizing as well. So I'm just going to shrink this down a little. And then I'm going to try it again. And that should give me plenty of clearance. So I'm going to move this to the side, and now the last thing I need to do is make another colored shape by going to cut out on picture, add a colored shape, make it a, tri a rectangle, change, well it's a square now, but we'll make it a rectangle. I'm going to change the color to the same yellow, or you can make it pink, any of these colors would, would work. I'm going to shrink it down some. And we only need one of these because the invitation, the written part that says, gives all the information, is just going to be on one side. And I'm going to just drop it down so you'll get the full effect. Dropped it all the way down to the bottom. So this is going to be attached here. And I just made it... Um, the length that I needed for the message that I wanted there. 
I'm going to move it up a bit so I have more room. And I already have a message down here that I pre-typed. I'm just going to drag that writing up. And drop it. And I made it a little fancier by changing the font. So you could do that just by right clicking. Hit edit text. Or if you need to add a text box, just hit add. Uh, the here where it says text by the A add text and then you can make your own you drop down of course change it to any font you want but I already had this preset so that I could just use it over and over again and just change it any way I want to change it so depending on how big you want the writing that will be how long you want your little strip you don't want to make it too thick because you want it to neatly go into the teapot or whatever your bottom piece is going to be. So leave an, I'll leave enough room for if I was actually adding the phone number and that should be sufficient. And then also uh, the person's name. You would ha I do that in a separate font just, just so that it can stand out. Right. And so now we're all set. We have all of our pieces. And all you need to do is save this as a JPEG and take it and cut it out in your Cricut. So we have one invitation down. I thought I'd show you um, this one can be done like um, the Fortnite uh, invitation so now I have my Super Mario character and I'm going to bring him all the way to the front I'm going to move all of all of this behind him so that it's not showing because all I want is him cut out of this picture so I'm going to go to cut out in picture cut out of picture by color selection I'm going to take this all the way down to zero because I only want this color cut out so I'm going to hit next. I'm, see how he's cloudy? I'm going to hit select opposite area. So now it switches to him that I'm keeping. If I had left it like that, it would have cut out the outline and deleted him. So this way, by me choosing select the opposite, whatever is bold is what you're keeping. I'm going to click done. Now for this one, it's an easy fix that the glove is missing. And I'll show you. See how his hand is missing? I'm going to go back arrow. I'm going to go to cut out in picture, cut out of picture by tracing on my own. I'm just going to zoom in a little bit and just trace out the part that did not carry over. And it was just this section. I'm going to hit the, the green flag, turns to the yellow flag, hit the green flag again. It shows me what I'm keeping. I'm going to hit done. Now I'm going to delete the Mario underneath. And a little bit of his hand is missing. So I'm going to curve that off like this one. And I'm just going to make another shape, cut out in picture, add a colored shape. Change it to white for now. Shrink it down. I'm going to fill that area. Take it behind Mario. And then I'm going to change the color by going to paint and color effect. Fill with a solid color. I'm going to click in the area that's nearest that oval. And I'm just going to reshape it so that it fills in that little hump that was missing. Just like that, you have its other hand. So now I want to cut out the rest of this junk here. So I'm just going to go once again to cut out in picture with the cookie cutter shape. I'm going to change it to a square. And just move it close to Mario so that I can cut out all that excess. Move him out the way. Grab Mario. Delete. Right click on this piece of the hand. Delete. I'm just deleting all that, all those pieces. 
from the previous Mario. So I'm going to sit him to the side for a minute. I'll shrink him down a little and I'll work on the pipe. This has a little white edge here. So I'm just going to go to cut out a picture, cut out of picture by color selection. You see how easy this is. We're using the same function over and over again. The only the only extra thing we did was uh, use the make the font, the messaging. So I'm going to hit next and done. And I can use still use this since it since it's here. If you were going to make the kind where the mushroom, not the mushroom, where the pipe opens, this would be the full spot, and you could have the invitation written in here. If it's not long enough, I'm going to group these, move them up a bit. If it's not long enough, you just go to cut out in picture, cut out of picture with the cookie cutter shape. Bring your square down in this area resize it and you're just going to cut out a chunk of this just by getting done and all you have to do to make it longer if you need it longer it's just like that so let's say we didn't need it quite this long because it's going to be both sides so I'm just going to take that back up if you're going to put your invitation here you would just go to cut out in picture add a colored shape make it white make it a square put it inside this side and I'm just trying to make it even all the way around and then do the same thing here I'll just copy this one by hitting on the copy and paste and then put that one here then you would just add your text to both sides you could use these simple techniques to make a card for anything if you were making an invitation for a bridal shower you could use a vase of flowers and have the vase be the section that opens up with the invitation information or any anything all you have to do is uh, think of whatever you want your theme to be um, and then just find an object that goes with it that could hold the message portion of your invitation. Here is an actual photo of the finished Alice in Wonderland themed invitation with the unique reveal in the pull-up style. I also finished the unique reveal using the Super Mario card in the two concepts this is the pull-up concept and the concept that I showed you during the video the book styled unique reveal and also to show you how it can be used for anything these same techniques I made a sample of a bridal shower invitation using a variation of the book style unique reveal so you see the possibilities are endless on the types of invitations you can make just using those two concepts and you see how easy and fast it is to design these so you will have them designed and be ready to print and assemble in just a few minutes in the upcoming video I will show you how to assemble the teapot unique reveal invitation from start to finish I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, don't forget to hit the like button. If you haven't already, please subscribe. And if you'd like to be notified the minute I have new videos uploaded, just hit the bell and you'll be notified. Thank you once again for stopping by my channel. I'll see you next time.